Hello everyone, welcome to Melissa's Musings. Happy Martin Luther King Day. <laughs> As you guys know, I am Melissa Steele, real estate agent extraordinaire and host of Melissa's Musings. And I'm really excited to come to you guys with a little bit of tidbit, um, a little tidbit, not a little bit of tidbit, a little tidbit and a little um, inspiration for you. So I don't know if any of you receive um, notes from the universe, but I signed up for it. And for those of you who don't, I highly recommend looking into it. What it is, is every single morning at like, I don't know, 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. Oh, hi, noons. <laughs> Thanks for joining in. My poor aunt is sick, but I'm so glad she's watching. Maybe you'll be inspired and get some new energy. CJ, thanks for joining in. Mary, ah, so good to see all you guys on here. Hi, friends. So, um, Notes from the Universe is this amazing program where you sign up, and if you typed in on Google, like, Notes from the Universe, Mike Dooley, you would find it in two seconds. You put in your email, and every single morning, Mike Dooley creates a note from the universe. It's written by him, but it comes from the universe, and it's meant to inspire you and be one of the first things that you look at when you get to your inbox and one of the th first things that you look at at the start of your day, a little tidbit from the universe, if you will. So um, this morning's was amazing. I got the note from the universe and I was like, yes, like what a fantastic and appropriate message, especially on Martin Luther King Day. So the message was, too often, the only difference between have and have not depends on whether or not the initial request was followed by a thank you, a yeehaw, and an action, rather than a question mark, timidity, and TV. Don't ask, give thanks bust a move. Love the universe. How inspiring is that? I loved it. Too often the only difference, so the only thing standing between have and have not, depends on whether or not the initial request from us <laughs> is followed by a thank you, a yeehaw, an action, rather than a question mark, timidity, and TV. So basically, let's say the declaration is to lose 50 pounds. Do you follow that with Thank you. I'm absolutely going to do that. I'm going to crush that goal. Yes. Hell yeah. Like losing 50 pounds, going to make it happen. Telling everybody in your sphere, doing all of these different things so that you take that action. You set the ball in motion. You roll it. Or are you like, I want to lose 50 pounds and then proceed to walk to the cabinet to grab the bag of chips and then plop your ass in front of the TV? <laughs> Which action are you taking? Because the universe isn't just going to come and slap you across the face with 50 lost pounds. But if you set the intention, you start taking the action, the universe will deliver. And whatever it is that you believe in in the universe, whether it be God or source or spirit or your personal strength, whatever it is that you believe in, as long as you get that ball rolling, the rest will be delivered to you. And I really think that this is so appropriate of a message on something like Martin Luther King Day, a day as monumental as today, because what a fantastic opportunity this beautiful day allows us to not only be grateful for you know what Martin Luther King did, but to really acknowledge the fact that he took massive action. <laughs> he took massive action. For a human being to take that much action in one lifetime, look at the way that we look back on his experience, right? And if we actually reflect on what it took from Martin Luther King Jr., he did not sit it back on the couch. He wasn't like, oh, I have a dream. <laughs> and as he's eating his popcorn, watch his movie, and it's that everybody is equal and there's no disquality. And, you know, no. He was out there. He was taking action. He was rolling his ball and allowing things to happen. And yes, he was, you know, taking action. He was yeehawing, he was thanking, he was in gratitude, but he was taking massive action in regards to his goals. And what comes up for me every time I hear a quote like this or read something like this, I think back, and in hindsight, it's always 2020, and I think back to all the times that John and I have taken massive leaps of faith. Faith moments where we have not had any idea where we would land. <laughs> where our backup plan has quite literally been, well, I, I guess we could always move back into mom's basement if shit goes real south. So those are the types of backup plans we're talking about. We do, do not leave ourselves back doors. And John and I are very much the people that if we want to take the island, we burn the fucking ships. So in the spirit of that, in hindsight, I'm able to look back on all of the moments where we've taken massive leaps of faith where we've turned those have-nots into haves, where it hasn't just been a flighty thought like, oh, I want to move to San Diego. No, it's been like, I want to move to San Diego. When am I going to quit my job? 
what do I have to like, what do I have to do between now and then? Do I need to sell my house? I get to sell my car. I get to sell everything I own. I get to pack the car up. I get to adventure. I get to arrive in San Diego. Same thing when we started our business. It wasn't like, yeah, let's start a business. We got 100K ready to go, saved up. No, it was a massive leap of faith. And dozens of times over these last three years, John and I have experienced, I, I was actually just writing something yesterday for an article that we're going to be featured in. And I was saying that the road to success so often doesn't, so often leaves out the, you know, nights spent eating dinner at 11 o'clock at the kitchen table while weeping together. Or <laughs> this, the road to success often leaves out the story of the tears that you cry yourself to bed with. But ultimately, as long as you're taking action, as long as each day or each week or even each month, you are taking, even if they're baby steps, little actions, the universe will deliver. And you're right, Noon. The key is absolutely to believe in yourself. You're not going to make any progress unless you believe in yourself. And similar to this message from the universe, it literally says the too often, the only difference, the only difference, like literally the only difference. And I have taken that leap of faith enough to know that it's literally the only difference, whether or not I believe it. Depends on whether or not the initial request was followed by a thank you, a yeehaw, and an action, rather than a question mark, timidity, and TV. And, um, you know, the people that work with me and the people that interact with me will attest. <laughs> have you guys worked with me and know that this is actually in fact, please verify in the comments that those watching know. But I am 100% somebody who, when I have an idea, or when I am in discussion with something, or when I want to take action, I literally take action in that moment, in that second. I have a really close friend, Chad, who I work with on a daily basis um, in lending. He's one of my preferred lenders, and I'm a real estate agent, so we work very often together. It wasn't too long ago where we were on a phone call, and we were talking about something that we wanted to implement. And I was literally like, I love it, let's do it. When is the soonest that you can get started? And he was like, wow, you don't mess around. He like laughed. He knows me, obviously, we're best friends, and he was like, you don't mess around. Like He's like, literally, I know you, and you are queen of implementation, but you literally don't wait a minute. And I don't wait a minute. For me, I'll forget, <laughs> or that energy will start to fizzle out. So I am somebody that as soon as I make a declaration, I wanna take one action step, whether it be to write it on my goal sheet, whether it be to start delegating a task, whether it be to just dive right in. There are literally moments where I've been like, I wanna do that and I'll purchase a Udemy course within a minute or I'll purchase the book I wanna to read to support me in whatever it is that I wanna do within a minute. I don't even allow myself the opportunity to back out or to second guess myself or to be like, is that gonna be possible? No, there's none of that when I make a declaration. It's like, okay, let's do it. What has to happen in order for it to happen? So I encourage you guys to embrace that, especially in a month like January. It's the start of the year. You are just a couple weeks in and it's an opportune moment to grasp everything that you want this year in both hands. I'm holding something so I can't, both hands. <laughs> And really be aware of how you're responding to things. Be aware of how you're responding to your own declarations. If you want to achieve things, it's as simple as responding with a yee-haw and a thank you. Being like, yes, I see myself already accomplishing this. Thank you. I got it. Versus questioning, timidity, being afraid of the power that you might have inside of you and sitting your ass in front of that TV. <laughs> so you get to shift if that's where you're at. I love you guys. Hope you have an amazing Monday on this Martin Luther King Day. Let's all take a moment to remember really the, the path that he set for us and how much action he took in his life. And hopefully you can embody that and let it be an inspiration to you today as it has been for me already today. And it's still early. I think it's before 11 a.m. So love you guys. I'll talk to you soon.